Woo. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited. Finally, the cleats have arrived. I bought this like a month ago. I don't know why these took so much longer to ship to my house, but I've been waiting for these. All right, hold on. I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek. Bro, the box is sick. Obviously, if you guys couldn't tell, I put that there for a reason. Bro, the box. It's not even just white. This thing kind of like, it's like iridescent, holographic. All right, so let me just go through the details of the box. It says Nike football, and then it says Korea in Korean, and then it says just do it. Wow, okay, it's got the little pinwheel Nike logo right here. It's kind of emulating the Korean flag with these little um, stripes right here. I'm gonna have to look up what they mean, but I, they, it means something. So I got the Vapor version, which is $275 US. I think the Superfly is $300. This another detail is, it says Korea right here as well. Moment of truth. Oh, well, it doesn't show the cleat right away, but Another thing is right here, it says, okay, Korean national team. It says that, just do it again, Nike football. Yo, the box is fire. Oh, wow. Even the wrapping paper has um, the Korean flag pattern going on. Ooh, this is it right here. The Korea Vapor 2020. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful design. Wow, okay, so these stripes right here are not even black. They're kind of like a space purple. It looks like the check sign on the Neymar that just came out. Jogo Prismatico, I think it's called. Holy moly, these look so nice, bruh. I don't even want to wear these. Ah, I, I don't know, I was thinking of doing a performance review. Not really a performance review, because I've reviewed these shoes so many times. You guys know how much I like these. Um, I might just, you know, make a little short vlog, like a play test in them. Look at the bottom, the color just looks insane. This part right here is like this pinkish orange holographic design. Okay, my fear with this slate right here was actually that it might turn out to be silver, but it looks like it's actually gonna wear away into this pinkish red color right here. That's kind of a plus for me. I was just, you know, hoping for some splash of color on the bottom. Hopefully this check mark also stays colored instead of turning, you know, clear or silver. Obviously this is gonna wear away these spots right here, which is kind of like a clear holographic design. And also as well on the bottom. Man, this is such a sick shoe. I'm also glad that these stripes are not gonna wear away. I don't see how it's possible for this to lose its shininess, I guess. You have to see it in person. The laces also obviously have a striped design on it. And no, it is not a zebra design. It is the white tiger, which is the Korean animal. It's on plenty of, okay, see, yeah, right here. So the logo here, if it was zebra stripes, then this would be a zebra, but it's not. The Korean animal is a tiger. Also, bro, someone commented on the video that I still have the tags on and I'm gonna keep it. In the video, I said that this was a gift. Why would I return it if it was a gift? Just for that. There we go. I'm not returning this. I don't know why I kept it on. I just, I don't know. I just felt like I really wanted to keep the freshness of it, I guess, until I wore the shirt. There's tag number two. Yeah, I am not returning this. It was a gift. I don't return or sell any gifts that I receive. If you do, then you're just a messed up person. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Even my friend who I told you, uh, he gave me for my birthday a Man City jersey, which I don't like Man City at all. I still wear it. It's a gift. I'm not gonna disrespect my friend who gives me a gift. But anyway, going back, this is the other one, by the way. <gasps> oh, I forgot the dust bag they put on the bottom. Ooh, fire. fire. In the back, it's got the stripes. It's got this branding. It literally has this branding everywhere. It says the national football team, Korean and English. Again, the pinwheel Korea flag design. And I thought I should show you guys the insole because I didn't see any images of it online. But anyway, here is the insole. It goes from a gradient. Bro, does someone wear these? It's like lint on here. And I can see kind of like a toe print. Anyway, it's like a really dark blue and it goes from this to obviously, what is this called, the university red? This is gonna probably go away as you wear them, but again, I'm debating on if I should wear these or not. I don't know, I might have to wear them in at least a game or something. I might, depending on if I get enough comments on these. But anyway, it has also mercurial branding on the lace tips right here. You definitely cannot see that. Well, maybe you can. It's got the Flyknit ACC branding on the medial check right there. I'm not sure if I said this, but it has written in Korean on the back. 
back. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the unboxing slash review for these. Um, if you guys want to know any of the material or performance of how the Vapor 13s actually play, I have done plenty of performance reviews on these silhouettes right here. These are my favorite silhouettes. Go true to size if you guys want these. And if you do want these, these are actually available on Nike, but you need to be a member. So in order to do that, it's free. All you gotta do is download the Nike app and then make an account. It's totally free. And then you'll be able to buy these. These were 275 and the Superflies are $300. And that's all before tax. So, oh, also, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but there's also the Tehanmingu branding right here. It says Tehanmingu, which is Korea in Korean. The check mark also has the pattern of the Korean flag, the little stripes that go corners. These stripes right here, that is patterned all along um, the check mark. And honestly, again, these were supposed to only release in Korea. I don't know why they released in all the other countries, but I don't know. I'm not complaining. I might even double up on these. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the review. If I didn't say it already, if you want these, go true to size. And if you are wide footed, obviously you might want to go half a size up, but I have a wide foot. I went true to size. These cleats always um, stretch out to my foot. But yeah, this model, the Vapor 13 or the Superfly 7 are my favorite currently and oh wow even the drawstring bag the actual like string part is got the little stripe design on it as well it's kind of stretchy and of course it has a little zipper pocket i'm this review is just all over the place sorry guys i'm supposed to be going somewhere right now so my mind is kind of all scattered but if you guys haven't watched already i just released a performance review the other day the adidas copa 20 plus stay tuned and i might do a performance review on these comment down below what cleats you might want me to review and you can follow me on instagram monica chris fc right here um i post some freestyle sessions um practice stuff and sometimes i'll have like in-game highlights or lowlights just anything funny that i might find I, I might post it on there but other than that i hope you guys are staying safe and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe it means a lot and i'll see you guys next time bye uh, all right so obviously i just got to the field i don't know if i should play in these or not <laughs> You like the video I made? <laughs> I was like, all he does is talk and, and complain and complain.